day off so come on in in just a minute here we'll be getting my son up ready for school uh, this is my everyday morning uh, getting him up about 7 15 uh, we have breakfast together uh, obviously get his teeth brushed get him dressed he ready to go and uh, we head out for his school and that's where I start my day School starts at 8, so we're out of the house about 7.40, 7.45. School's not real far. Drop him off. I get to come back. Um, I go to the gym at 9 a.m. most mornings, so you know, I get to come back. I have, I have breakfast usually with my wife and daughter, then at that point I eat then. I can't eat the second I wake up like this monster, but, you know, my schedule's, my schedule's pretty packed. But these moments like this are, 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 are what makes it makes it worth it, you know. Um, I know that every morning this is going to be our time. Um, and I know that, you know, today's a good day because I'll get to see him again. He does jiu-jitsu at my gym, so he'll be up there after school today. He's got class. Um, you know, my wife will bring him up there. That's another big part of it. i got a great support system around me. My wife is... You know, she 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 works now part time, but but for the, for the most part she's a stay at home mom, and she's able to get him to jiu jitsu, get him to soccer practices, get him, you know, all over the metroplex for everything he's doing. He's playing select soccer and doing jiu jitsu three days a week, and so you know it's just it's just awesome. The, these moments that we get to have in the mornings are, are, are what make it all worth it. You know, I I, great, I grew up in a great home. Uh, my family sacrificed everything for me and my brother and my sister. Uh, for, for me, it was wrestling. Um, I started at five. My brother was three years old, our first wrestling tournament. Um, and that was just the way of life for us. Uh, I, 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 could, I couldn't even mention all, all the sacrifices my mom and dad made for me to be able to compete all over the country. When I say all over the country, I've, I've actually competed in like 38 different states we figured out one time. Um, so I've done, you know, I've seen places, I've met people that I, I, I would have never had without the opportunity my parents gave me and, and they just threw wrestling, so. This is a weird thing. Open up. Just around the corner here, this is where my son goes to school. It's a Heritage Elementary. Part of the Keller ISD. Um, he's a kindergartner there. Um, he seems to like it. We, we, we like it. It's a good school. Um, but yeah, this is just a typical morning for us. 7.40, we're out the house, making sure he makes it on time. Um, try to start his day off right, you know. For the first time, you know, I'm 30 years old now. Um, for the first time in my life, I have a, I have a brand new vehicle. It's kind of crazy to drive this off the lot with 89 miles on it last Friday, um, but it's awesome. I'm, I'm real excited. Um, obviously, you can probably tell um, it goes back this week to get the uh, part of the financing was I got the uh, three inch lift and the big 35 inch tires to be put on it. So I can't wait to see my end product and then I'll then I'll really show off my baby. I'm going to take the top off. How do you better you know? hope it doesn't rain because you'll go to school with a wet butt. <laughs> no, I won't. Okay. I'll never do that. You think so? And you will do that. I will? I'll have the wet butt? Yeah. I'll bring a towel for me. I <laughs> know you will. Not for you. I'll bring a towel for me. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ow. 
Here you go, dude. Hey, have a good day, okay? Love you. I love you. Love I love you. you. Bye. He doesn't need me. He knows what he's doing. Say hi, Lila. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, this is this is our morning. Drop Jay off, come back. Uh, my wife and I and, and Delilah here, we eat breakfast every morning. She wants her bottle first thing with the milk and, and her baby shows, so this is what we watch for the next half an hour. Wait a minute, you'll get some. <laughs> Dear God, we just thank you for this day and thank you for the time we get to spend together as a family. Thank you for all the opportunities and all the blessings you give us in life. God, be with us today and grow us closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Obviously, I probably should have introduced earlier. This is my wife, Melody, and uh, our daughter, Delilah, just turned one last week. Uh, Melody and I have been married uh, a little over seven years. March was seven years. Um, known each other pretty much our whole lives, went to the same school through elementary and, and junior high and high school and everything. Uh, she was smart, she wouldn't date me till I settled down and grew up a little bit, so uh, we got together probably 21 years old or so and uh, been together ever since, so. You know, it's, it's hard sometimes, but it's paid off now and him being the UFC and getting on the show is, you know, just such a blessing. And we wouldn't have her if it weren't for the show, I don't think, because <laughs> as soon as he came home from the show, you know. We conceived her, but yeah, it's been it's been amazing, and I'm very glad that I stood behind him and supported him. For this fight coming up, how I feel, <laughs> God bless you. Um, I feel good. I mean, it's always, being a fighter's wife is different, I say, because it's not like he can come home at the end of the day, he had a bad day at the office, and come home, put his feet up, have a beer, and it's all better. It's like, if he has a bad day at the office, it's because he got beat up. And, you know, that does something to your ego, and it does something to, you know, it makes it hard sometimes to to want to continue. Oops. But I feel, I don't know, I feel good. I haven't felt nervous about these last couple of fights. I get a little bit of anxiety before just because, you know, you're watching the person that you love going there and you just don't know. You know, sometimes it doesn't matter who the better fighter is. You know, it's, anything can happen in a second. And uh, I'm never really worried about him getting hurt, though, because um, he's just so tough. <laughs> All right. I have, I have. What did Evan buy us? Did he buy us? Look at that. Just for the girl. Yeah, I have ah, Give me a kiss. I get my own sometimes. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, it's kind of funny. I don't know what season Ultimate Fighter it was, but Roy Nelson used the word TV rich. I think people think that because we fight in the UFC and because, uh, you know, we, we, we're, we're on TV, we're, we're broadcasting, that we're celebrities. And, and maybe we are celebrities, but we're not paid like like normal celebrities. Um, I'm not complaining about, about my income, but I mean, I'm a father of two, a husband. Uh, my wife just recently started working again part-time, but, but the income is all me. I mean, I, I've raised a family now for seven years almost. My son's almost seven, um, making peanuts, man. And in about October of 09 then, I had enough. I was I was borrowing money to pay rent, fighting just to pay that person back, not knowing I'm going to pay rent the next month. It was just this cycle that we were in that we, we couldn't get out of it, man. And it was just, you know, I said, I, I, I kind of came to the, the conclusion that I gave it a go. I gave it my all. But, you know, I'm going to have to go get a nine to five, man. Like, I, can't, I can't live like this anymore. I can't do it to my wife. I can't do it to my son. I can't even do it to myself anymore, you know. It, it, it was just being a, a father and a provider and a, and, a, and a husband and all that stuff um, affected me when I wasn't able to provide for, for, for common necessities. Paying rent um, was, was a struggle every month. Um, I called my manager at the time, um, told him, you know, I'm kind of done. And at that point, he, he, he reached out to some resources he had and uh, said, you know, he, he, he thought that I was about to get my big break, which, you know, he was he was right. And, you know, I'm just really, really blessed, really fortunate to, to have the things that I have because uh, the odds were definitely stacked against me, man, that's for sure. Um, 
without without again you know I don't want to beat it to death but without without God and without you know just perseverance on my end and and, my, and, and from my family just just continue to chase this dream you know it's obviously starting now to pay off I was uh, given the opportunity to join the ultimate fighter the show has just opened up a million doors for me I'm, I'm now 2-0 in the UFC with two uh, stoppages so I think they're pretty dominating fights uh, fighting here in what 10 days now something like that um, planning on being 3-0 uh, fighting Eric Perez who's 3-0 in the UFC right now Jackson's guy, uh, tough guy, not taking anything against him, but um, I think I match up really, really well against him. I'm just really looking forward to just keep climbing that UFC ladder and, and, and working hard every day and, you know, uh, reaching that ultimate goal of, of not only a UFC championship, but but to be the the ultimate fighter, obviously, to be the ultimate husband, to be the ultimate father, um, to be the ultimate business owner, you know. We are 9 a.m. opening the gym. Obviously, to start a gym, you need a name. And I always like the idea, you know, I'm, I've always had this dream to own my own gym ever since I moved to Texas and, and, and ran a gym, know, know the ins and outs of running a business. I've always kind of thought about it on my own and, and just the idea of the, the, the F3, the Fitness Fight Factory, always kind of stood out to me, man. I had the, I had the triangle and I, I never put it on paper, man. I'm not real artsy, but uh, that morning, Put, I, I, drew, I drew a triangle on a, on a napkin, I think, at breakfast, and put the fitness on one side, put fight on the other, and the factory on the bottom, with the F kind of like to the third power, the F3 in the center, and it just it just went, man. So I, I, I couldn't tell you where it came from, but uh, I kind of had that envision, you know. Got to keep it clean, got to scrub the toilets, got to do, got to do it all, man, every day. Bring it up the rear. Going in right now to uh, North Co Country Family Practice over here in South Lake. Um, met a guy who works here. He's uh, actually a, an Arosti doctor. Um, if you guys don't know what Arosti is, I highly recommend checking it out, man. Uh, one of the most amazing things that I've done for my, my, my body during these fight camps and during my fight career. Um, I got connected to this guy, his name's Dr. Greg Stowe. So, um, we're already working on things that have bothered him in the past, and now, uh, to add to that, uh, we're trying to maintain maintain his arm strength and maintain, maintain the uh, stability of it. So right now we're just uh, cleaning up his shoulder. Put things back where they need to be. You guys here in the office excited to see Johnny's fight? I'm excited. I'm excited. I got a DVR already. Be a good time. Alright, so he said he wanted you to do some of your stretching. Um, okay. The pec stretch. Sweating, sweating, sweating. Arms over, roll from the bottom of the shoulder blades to the top of the shoulder blades, just back.
Alright guys, uh, stopping in here at Torque. They actually uh, just moved in this building, so you'll see they don't have their signs up or anything yet, but uh, Torque's is sponsoring me for this next fight on UFC 159. Very thankful to have them guys. Uh, pretty cool they have a, a, a nationwide, uh, worldwide company local here in South Lake, just probably four miles from my gym. So Feeling good, dude. Just left the doctor. Uh, little Rossi doctor, they worked on me. And Hey guys, uh, Mike Crawford, National Sales Manager for Torque Sport and Performance. Sitting here with Johnny Bedford and Torque owner Scotty Templeton. Um, yeah, we, we decided to go with Bedford for, for this fight. Um, brutal Bedford. Brutal Bedford. <laughs> you know, uh, I was a big fan of his, watched him on The Ultimate Fighter, loved him. And, uh, you know, uh, came to find out that, uh, you know, his gym is 3.1 miles away from the office. So, you know, what better than to, uh, you know, support the local, uh, you know, UFC fighter here. And uh, we're establishing a pretty good relationship, and we're going to do a lot of big things with Johnny. How do I see what's going? I see, I see Johnny killing this guy in, uh, in, in great fashion. He's got, a, he's got a good game plan, and he's, uh, you know, tearing it up at the gym. So, uh, you know, we're looking for a, a really good fight. You know, Torx obviously support me big time for this fight coming up, and uh, I want to get back in any way I can. You know, I'm very fortunate and thankful for these guys. So what we're going to do right now is uh, just do a, like a surprise phone call to one of their fans. Um, you know, kind of try to hopefully make her day, and you know, let's see how it goes. See if she answers. Hello. Hey, Amanda. It's Mike with Torque. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? Good. How's your day going? So. Far, okay. So. Very so yeah, it's pretty hot up here. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can make it better uh, in a second. You have a second? Absolutely. Hold on. Somebody wants to say hello to you. Cool. Hi, Amanda. Hey, how are you? Good. This is Johnny Bedford. Uh, just, just wanted to talk to you and tell you how much we appreciate your support here with Torque, and they're supporting me. So, it's cool to give back and talk to some fans. Uh, where, where'd you say you're from? I'm in South Florida. I'm in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, so yeah, it's hot there too. We're up here in Texas, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Well, Fort Worth more. Um, South Lake is actually where we're at, little suburb of. It's in between the two, so right there in the Metroplex. And you're getting ready for your fight. I'm yeah. getting ready. Yeah, I leave a week a week from today. I'll be heading out to Jersey. Um, Jersey. Not not super ecstatic about that, but. Hey, hey, I'm from Jersey. What's going hey, on here? We'll get, we'll get <laughs> Jersey Mike. Jersey Mike. You know, no, I mean. Right, that's true, and it's not a. It's not. I was born and raised in Ohio, so it's not real terribly far for friends and family to make it to the fight. So, one more. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Ten minutes late. Every, every day this is what happens. They, they clap, they applaud, they, they, they usually bow when I walk in. Hey, it's Johnny's world, we're just living in it. That's right. match up real well and I think I'm, I'm just a whole lot better everywhere not just a little bit better I think I'm a whole lot better everywhere in this facet of this game I think that my boxing's better I think that my wrestling's better and I think that my jiu-jitsu is better um, this isn't going to be you know it, it's it's got the making of being fighting tonight but uh, I don't see it that way I see it uh, it's got the making of be a one-sided uh, pretty much beat down um, I, I intend to go out there put my hands on him put him on his back when I need to be beat him up for, for 15 minutes if it takes. I don't plan on going 15 minutes. I'm going to stop him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, knock him out, TKO him, or submit him, that's for sure. Pop that red. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 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 
uh, really random actually. Uh, didn't have a fight name, didn't, you know, I wasn't the guy that wanted to give himself a fight name. Um, around the same time, it was just really weird how it all worked out. Um, I, I, one of the announcers at a, at a local event here that I fought for said a brutal finish by brutal Johnny Bedford. And at the same time, I think that same week, a buddy of mine came up and said, what do you think about brutal Johnny Bedford? And I was like, it's kind of catchy. But when the announcer said it, man, it was just like icing on the cake. You know what I mean? It, it sticks. I think, I, I think it, 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 it's a great name for my fight style. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a very nice guy in the cage. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly looking to do damage. You know, I'm, I'm brutal when I fight. I'm, there's not many guys out there that are soccer kicking people to the body when they're turtling up. And, and, and I'm, I think I'm exciting. I think I'm, I'm mean. I think I'm hungry. You know, and I think the name fits perfect. I don't know if the winner is going to be a number one contender, but but we're definitely going to jump some some serious spots. UFC's implemented that 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 top ten ranking now that you see on the top ten guys before they go out and fight, and I, I expect the winner to be, you know, towards the middle of that pack, five, six, seven, eight, nine, somewhere in there, um, you know, and I, I expect that to be me. I, I I think, you know, with the right matchups, I could be two fights away from a UFC title fight. Um, after I beat Eric, I, I, you know, whoever the UFC says to fight next. It's obviously they're always going to try to step you up in competition um, to keep moving you towards that title shot. I'm looking forward to the challenge. You know, it's his, it's his thing. You know, I thought it was kind of kind of silly at first, I guess, for lack of a better word. But but you know, I read some articles on him, and it, and, it, and it roots back to his Mexican heritage. And you know, I mean, whatever he's got to do. You know, um, I I I'm I'm in the heart of, of the Mexican culture here in Fort Worth, man. Uh, we're going to Reyes Boxing tonight, where I'll probably be one of the very few if not the only white guy in the gym, you know. Um, I'm coached all my boxing by, by Hispanic guys. Um, got a lot of Hispanic training partners, friends, uh, you know. So, you know, it's just, it's just his tie back to, back to his, his Mexican culture. Um, it is what it is, you know. If it amps him up or if it helps him in whatever way, more power to you. Just be ready for my walkout because it's going to be completely the opposite. I can promise that. You've been with me all day. Uh, we're not anywhere near done yet. I'm about to teach a kids class. Uh, we teach kids Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I've got one of the top programs in the Metroplex. My kids are, are, are phenomenal. We, we, we pretty much win every tournament we go to, or we're right there with it. Go on, Jake, hold on. Keep your head up, Bubba. Hold your head down. I should be down. Head up. Hey, push your hands back here. You can stop and take down back here. Hands in front. Ready, set, go. Yeah, you guys are here on a Tuesday, so Tuesday's no gi for us. Thursday and Saturday is a gi class. So as you see, they don't have their gis on today, but we compete both ways. Naga, this was, it was just this past weekend. Probably, I don't know, 15 to 20 kids competed from our gym. This is actually a pretty small class. So, um, But we did really well as a team. I'm very, very proud of my, my youth PJJ team. Um, we've won the last few tournaments we went to as a team. So pulling my guard back up. Okay? To escape the mount, I have to shrimp twice. Alright guys, uh, yeah, we're pulling in here. Reyes Boxing, my second home. Um, these guys are great to me, man. Uh, changed my career for sure for my, 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 my boxing game. You know, I think I think if you've watched my career at all, you've seen it, it improve tremendously. Man, I'm really thankful for these guys, Vince Reyes and, and Tony Cabello. Tony Cabello is my, my boxing coach, so. I can't complain, I have no complaints Time. He can't just high drop that right hand on the there like that. Keep chipping on it. There, good body shot, honey. You're in. Here we are again, two days later, back at Reyes Boxing. Uh, 
my last hard day of sparring here. Um, you guys probably saw Tuesday wasn't a great session for me. Uh, I had a great day, man. Hung out with Angel all day. Didn't the, the whole day in the life thing, man. I had a great time. And on the way over here, uh, got the phone call from my, my, my dad that uh, my grandfather had actually passed away that day. The good news about it is my grandfather was a believer. Um, I know that he's in a better place now. I know he's in, you know, he's with Jesus, man. And uh, I got some peace in that. Um, you know, again, Tuesday was a tough day for me, man. I broke down. I had some, I cried a little bit afterwards. It, it, it was, it was, it was tough. But, um, you know, this is what he'd want. He'd want me to keep, keep plugging away. Uh, you know, he's one of my biggest fans, so. I really miss you, Grandpa. Uh, I love you. Um, all my family back home in Ohio, I love all you guys. I know we're all hurting right now. Um, we'll get through this. Tomorrow night, I'll be out at Team Takedown for my last official sparring. We'll be doing MMA rounds inside the cage. Um, that's that, that's coming to an end, you know. It's just all sharpening everything from here on out. Uh, next week, I'll just be resting, let my body heal up, cutting weight, making weight. Um, you know, I get, to Vegas, or I get to New Jersey on Tuesday, and then it's just all business, man. Make weight, heal up, get ready to go, uh, make weight on Friday, and get ready to fight on Saturday. Um, Man, there's so many thank yous. Uh, my home gym, Fitness Fight Factory, uh, Reyes Boxing, obviously where we're at right now. Team Takedown. Um, man, I'm blessed. I got I got the best training partners and coaching staff. I feel like in the world. Uh, with with Tony Cabello as my main boxing coach, uh, Mark Lehman as my jiu-jitsu coach. My training partners, man, I couldn't begin to, to to mention them all, but we'll try. Dustin Pegg, Chaz Skelly, Will Camposano. Jamal Parks, uh, Ryan Benoit, I know I'm missing a bunch of you, Mark De La Rosa. Um, just, man, it goes on and on, guys. I, I, I couldn't be where I'm at today without each and every one of you. Um, sponsors, man, big shout out to Torque Athletics. Uh, they're sponsoring me for this fight. Uh, Palette Smart, check them out online, palettesmart360.com. Uh, um, Randy King Insurance has been with me for a long time now, man. I really appreciate him. He's got a uh, insurance agency out in Arlington, Texas. Check him out if you need that. Um, again, I know I'm forgetting people, man. Um, just, just my my family, obviously. Um, I've got the, the the most amazing supportive wife in the world. Uh, two great kids that I'm blessed to have. Man, uh, mom and dad back home. I'm my number one fans back in Ohio. All the people back in Ohio. I really appreciate all your support. Um, again, Grandpa, I, I, I miss you. I love you. Um, you know, I know I'm forgetting people, man, but this is this is closing the day, closing the week. Um, next week it's showtime. We're, I think, nine days away right now. Uh, don't blink. I'm Brutal Johnny Bedford, and you're watching the Ultimate Fans Fighters League, and we're bringing the fight to you.